Hey guys, hope you're having a good good day today. We're going to talk about frequencies for a few minutes and very important topic. And you know, on Lost Arts Radio for years we've talked about the effects of weaponized microwave frequencies, whether they're from cell phone cell towers or uh, smart meters or uh, harp systems or Nexrad installations or anything like that. We've had guests on, like Barry Troer, who has explained a lot about it. The archives with Barry are really interesting. You might want to go back and watch those. Um, but microwave weapons have been operating and in use in the U.S. and other places since before World War II. And in the modern time, everything from 1G systems up to 4G has been extremely damaging to human health and affecting uh, brain waves and intercellular communication in your body and even other life forms, uh, insects and animals and birds and plants and trees and everything have been negatively impacted by these weaponized frequencies. But 5G is planned to be a lot worse. And of course, at the lower levels, they're just into it for money and power and say, wow, there's billions of dollars in this new 5G rollout because we get to put it everywhere in the world. It's going to be wonderful. Uh, we'll be in the new financial elite. But at the top levels, it's not about money at all. It's part of an, a bigger agenda of destruction. So the question from our side is, once you know about it, what can we do while we work for a solution that's going to be long term? Uh, certainly the obvious stuff like get get Wi-Fi out of your house, to get rid of wireless routers, hardwire everything in your home and business, uh, get rid of smart meters, don't live right under a cell tower for the moment if you can afford it. I mean, if you can manage it, because they want to put cell towers everywhere so you can't get away from them, but at the moment you still can. Uh, physically, there's measures like that that we can take to minimize risk and uh, do things to minimize dirty electricity in your house, that sort of thing. Also, there are devices that some good inventors like Ken Rolla and other people have made. Ken ha and Ken's site is freshandalive.com. You can see some of them there, like notably the rest, what he calls the rest shield. It's a little pyramid shaped electric device that you plug in. It uses uh, positive scalar frequencies to help your environment shield out the effects of uh, Wi-Fi and cell towers and stuff like that. I've been using one for about three years or so and it, it's really good. So I'd recommend that. Also, also he's got a bigger one called the Home Shield which has effects that he can't fully talk about publicly but it's worth looking into. Talk to the office about it or whatever you can do. I'll just say that it has atmospheric effects and leave it at that. But you can kind of uh, draw your own conclusions since we've been talking a lot about geoengineering, things like that. You can guess where I'm going with that. But even with those wonderful devices that are really useful, I talked to Ken off air and he agrees that we're more powerful than any device of synthetic technology. We are the creators of our own reality and that's not it's not just a philosophy, it's not just positive affirmation saying, oh, I'm creating my own reality and uh, there's nothing bad in it. Affirmations like that don't work if at the lower subconscious levels you actually believe the opposite. So in order to make those creative abilities that we have come into real play in your life and in the life of the people around you and the world the way it's going, you got to do some work. And my suggestion is that you start with your physical health, learn the laws of nature that affect that, become independent of the medical system, get off drugs if you can, uh, of all kinds. Some, there are some brilliant doctors that will actually help you do that, even though most of them have become drug dealers at this point. But that's really important, and learning how to uh, overcome aging, which you definitely can do. I'm spending a lot of time uh, experimenting with that now, but I can tell you at this point, oh yeah, it's possible. And you can reverse it, even if it's done a lot of damage. And most of these incurable diseases are actually curable, avoidable, preventable, and changeable. Um, real immunity is possible, not with the stupid injections. I almost said the V word, I don't want to do that. There is AI scanning our, our videos all the time now. I'm trying to stay on the air for a little longer. Um, which is tricky when you're talking about stuff that you're not supposed to talk about. 
but real immunity is possible by learning deeper laws of nature and applying them in your everyday the details of your everyday uh, lifestyle are really the most powerful thing physically for sure and also mentally emotionally things about your consciousness where you're focused um, if you learn about these things and you start applying them learning how to use them step by step like a program learning uh, system something like that there you'll find out that there's a current and frequencies that are far more powerful than any negative technology that that the controllers can ever come up with it's exciting and Ken agrees with this too I've talked to Ken about it and it's in us it's in you you have it you've always had it um, we don't have to create it we don't have to make it start working it's already working it's already coming in from non-physical sources the ultimately the source you came from whatever you want to call that but it, it manifests physically in this dimension comes into your body spreads out into all the cells of your body that's already happening or you would not be here the trick is from that point which is just survival to letting it fully flow through you and then out to affect the whole rest of everything that's that's what the trick is okay and it's not a some kind of trick really it's just it's getting back to your natural state because you're the most incredible healing influence on this planet that more than you can imagine you're not supposed to have any idea that that's true and when you really go back behind the motivation of of the bad guys that are working on destroying life on this planet which is their bottom line for a reason and it's not money um, when you go back behind that they're not just trying to systematically finish the destruction like they're involved in now they also want to keep you unconscious until they're all done with it that's the main priority it's the biggest hidden secret of any that I've ever seen um, so I would take it as guidance say well wow, that means getting my own consciousness back is the number one priority that I should have and it is because that's what makes all the health changes really possible uh, it's what harmonizes everything in your life because this current coming into you from above and below meeting in the center of the lower heart chakra that's another story and then expanding out like a sphere to influence everybody in your environment which is without distant limitation that means everybody that means all the things happening in the world that means you're the transmitter or the relay station that everything is waiting on it's been in your hands the whole time and you're supposed to think oh I'm this really stupid limited uh, temporary being a handful of dust that's gonna go back to nothing um, that's not entirely accurate <laughs> to put it mildly you're the most incredible being you can imagine so what I would think about to to bring that into play make a contribution to what's going on in the world which really needs you right now uh, one of the first things you need to do is learn about how to naturally fix your physical health get your energy back get your mind clear um, dump this stupid aging stuff which is not necessary the degenerative disease which they say oh yeah it's ne it's normal to lose this much of your uh, hormone balance every year after what 30 or something it's normal to lose all your muscle mass and your energy and all that's just normal aging right no that's really stupid that's because we're making mistakes if we learn to correct the mistakes learn what they are and reverse them everything begins to change and the world needs a lot of help right now the intentional plan is to destroy life here it's not only population reduction it's elimination of all life forms so and there's reasons for this and they have nothing to do with money at the top level but the point is solutions right so the solution a big part of it is you it's really is you it's not all the other people listening to this video it's you personally it's a huge responsibility to take but it's also an incredible adventure that starts if you accept it so I would say learn this is just the very beginning learn learn on your own learn with a friend learn the laws of nature the real ones that you're not supposed to know how to apply them get your health back and then start the real work which is you as a 
I would say a relay station for the incoming positive frequency that you can just let flow through you. And if you get to the point where you can do that, even now, even later than now, but not much later, we can turn around everything here. We have the, you have so much potential healing power. I'm talking about healing environmental issues, healing people, changing the mindset of the guys who are spraying us with poison. You can, there's no limits unless you believe there are. But you have to do some specific work to let them in. So do it. Do it on your own. Do it with a friend. You don't need me or anybody else. If you want a support system and you want to get together with other people seriously starting to do the same thing with their health and their internal abilities, uh, check out lostartsradio.com slash club. It's very powerful stuff we're working on. That's a private environment where we're not going to get shut down, I don't think. Uh, not as fast as these public ones will. Come there and uh, see what we're doing. lostartsradio.com slash club. I can't fully explain it on, on the public video, but I think you might be interested if you're ready to take it on. If you're still at the um, just observation stage and you want to just look on while other people do everything, probably not worth your time. This is for people ready to start doing the work on themselves, which is the hidden doorway to everything that we can really get done here. Um, so do it with us, do it on your own, do it however you want. But when you're ready, start, because you're the one that everybody's waiting for. You really, I'm not just saying that. You really are. So think about it, and I'll see you next time.